Hi, it's the Brooker, that gratitude guy. Okay, today I want to talk about, naturally gratitude as usual, but I want to talk about standing by your principle. And by that I mean, I want you to think about all the things that you're grateful for that have to do with the fact that when you stood by your principle, stood by your word, stood up for yourself, or just in general, remember to tell people, I'm going to stand for this and this is what I mean by what I say and didn't back down. Something to be very grateful for, of course. I think about many instances in my life where somebody had to make me make a stand. And I thought, I'm grateful for the fact that I've got this attitude which I'm gonna believe in what I say, back it up, and not let anybody affect overall how I think about something by just agreeing with whoever is in the room at the time. I think back years ago, I was a freshman in college. My folks had gotten divorced, and as part of the divorce settlement, uh, my father was to pay for my college, and my older brother, and I think uh, a couple of my other brothers, younger brothers as well. So after the first year of having him pay for it, I constantly heard about how hard it was on him, even though he was a very successful attorney, I heard about how hard it was for him to, to be affording to be paying for my college at the local university here in town, as well as my, my room and board and a fraternity and so forth. So I listened to it for about a year, came in at the start of my sophomore year, and he used to pay for all four years. And I'd listened to this for this entire first year about how much of a struggle it was for him and the fact that, in fact, I'll never forget, he even said that he and his wife had to, to subsist on macaroni and cheese because they couldn't afford it because David was costing them so much money to put me through college. So I remember the start of my uh, sophomore year. I walked in his office. He was an attorney. And he said, well, here's the check for your first quarter. And once again, we're barely making it. We're barely struggling. And I remember at that moment, this was going to define me for the rest of my life because I was going to stand by my principle and I was going to be grateful that I had principles in my life. I took the check, tore it up in literally 100, 102, 700, several hundred pieces rather, tossed it down on the desk and I said, you will never pay for another cent of my, of my college again. I actually got quite emotional about it and he just looked at me and I turned around and walked out of the office. And I realized right then that I was going to have to pay for the rest of my college myself. And I did just that. My sophomore year, my junior year, my senior year, then I graduated and got my bachelor's degree. But as I look back on it, I was so proud of myself for standing by that principle and being grateful that I had a principle to embrace. I also think the extra bonus to the whole thing was that I actually ended up appreciating my college degree even more because I paid for it myself. It was tough because I had to work full-time and put myself through college and also taken a full-time load of classes. But in the long run, I was very, very grateful for upholding that principle. So think about the principles that you represent. Think about the ones that you embrace and be sure to stand by your principle. You will be very grateful in the long run. That's it for the day. Have a great, uh, grateful day rather, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.